You can easily work with Dangle Gravity and Win inside of Character Animator. And to do that, I'm going to import out a new file right here. So I'm just going to go to import and over here, I've made CH handle file right here uh, for which we can experiment that out. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new scene out of it right here. And you'll be able to see that this is a very, very simple uh, object and there's no character. The, it's not a character whatsoever, but we're going to apply uh, the physics over here on this model right here. So let's go on to the rig section for that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pin out the center right here. So I'm just going to go around and then this is the background. So I'm just going to pin this out. So it, it is going to be fixed because as I add in dangles, uh, gravity will take place. This might just fall off. So now I'm going to go on to the left handle. I'm going to add in dangle right here. So I'm just going to click on dangle and click over here, drag this one over here onto the end, just like this. And now I'm going to go on to the top right over here and then add in dangle right over here on the top, drag this down right here. And then I'm going to go on to the right, uh, the, okay, this is supposed to be the bottom and, uh, okay. Anyways, no problem, uh, with the naming. I'm just going to add in a dangle over here as well. And then the center location on the top. And then I'm going to go around on the bottom, add in a dangle right here, put it around on the side and bring this on to the right, just like this. So now what happens is that if I were to go to record, you can see that the dangle starts to take place, uh, take effect just like that, as you can see. Let me just add in a dragger over there as well. So I'm just going to go around over here. I'm going to add in a um, dragger just like this. So I can just drag it around and show you how that actually works out. So I can drag this around. You can see that it actually dangles around just like that. And to work around with the physics and everything else right over here, I'm going to go around onto the physics right here. And then here you can see that you have an option to work around with gravity, with gravity direction, wind strength and everything. Of course, you got dangle as well. You can increase out the squashiness of the dangle. You can work with the stiffness of the dangle right here. So you can uh, change around the, uh, the properties of the dangle right here, just like that. You can work around with the damping. And now over here, you can see that there's gravity strength. So you can increase out the gravity strength and the amount, as you can see, uh, increases on how much uh, pull is done. You can also change out the gravity right here into opposite section. You can see that now uh, the gravity has turned up. So it is attracting onto the top. So you want to create something like a magnet effect. You can do this as well. So just like that, you can bring up the gravity right over there as well. And then if you want to make the, uh, if you want to make the, um, environment a bit windy, you can increase out the wind as well. And you, you can see that it sways around on left and right, just like that, as you can see. So you can make it a bit more windy and you can change out the wind direction. So you can uh, change it out into anywhere. So you can change it out onto left side, onto top, right, and so forth, according to where you want. So I'm just going to go around over here and it dangles around as you can see, and I can change around the wind variation to make it very, very intense right over here, as you can see. And now it seems like it is animating and we don't have to add in manual keyframes just to make the wind animation. So I can have a bit, bit of subtle wind right here or we can really increase out. And of course we can change out the direction and you can see that this is how the wind affects on the, the graphics, just like that. And that's how you can add in dangle gravity and then add in wind and uh, uh, wind uh, and gravity physics onto our object inside of character animator. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.